Hello all, Shoestring here. We're about to go into our local Dollar General store and see what type of haul we can do to help our food storage today. Let's go in and see what we got. All right, so here we are at the Dollar store. The shelves is not as emptied as they have been. It appears they've been able to restock some since this crisis has started. But there are still some empty slots here since we've had our present food crisis. Prices really going up and shelves empty. But like I said, this is a bit better. Toilet paper section here and paper products in general are pretty empty. Now there is some still on the shelf. Give you an idea of what it looks like at this dollar store here. Okay, all we are back from the dollar store. We did a dollar store run today, and while I was there, as usual, we picked up some items that should be put away. I wanted to walk you through some of them and show you what we picked up. This is not going to be a long, drawn-out video about how you do all of this. We're simply going to show you what we picked up because we want everyone to know that you can do this no matter how much money you have. Pick up a few things each time you go to the store. And when remember, as long as it's on the shelves... It's going to be available. One day it may not be there. As you saw from our walk through the dollar store, there was a lot of shelves that were still empty, even though they've been trying. Remember, food will get you through times with no money better than money will get you through times with no food. You can't eat money. So let's look at what we have here. First, we have our hash. I like hash a lot. Okay. So I buy it, and that's a note to have here that if you don't eat something regularly, don't buy it. Only buy something and put it away if you're going to eat it and your family's going to like it. Okay? So we got the hash. It doesn't expire until 24, so that's pretty good. We got some light bulbs here. They can be put away. I'm going to do a separate video on non-food items. And that will go when I do that, plus some of these other things. Dishwashing liquid, very, very inexpensive. It was about a dollar twenty-five. And the hash was two dollars twenty-five. They keep going up in price, but I like it. So we're gonna get a couple. These are gonna be put away. Some of the other stuff we got, of course, we're gonna put in the pantry and use. We have different two different types of soups here, vegetable and chicken noodle. Have spaghetti. It's been going up in price too, but we like it, so we're going to put it away. We've got coffee here. Remember, can't go through the zombie apocalypse without coffee. Have to have coffee. Macaroni and cheese. We like it when the grandkids visit. They like it, which is when we normally use it, but it's been going up in price too. These were about 50 cents a box. Then we have some crackers to put back right there. And, of course, 
toilet paper. Toilet paper is important because even if you don't like this type, it is just a dollar, and you start putting this back, and it's a very good trade item. Okay? So, these are the basic items we've gotten. They all together was under $50. And, of course, what you do is now you put these in a box. You put them up somewhere in a nice, cool, dry place. And then they'll be ready when you need them. Now, you see I only picked up a couple, right? One or two. Didn't empty the whole shelf. Don't have to empty the whole shelf. You can leave some for others besides it's expensive. Just get a couple each time, and it will work out really well. Make sure you look at the expiration date. Now, there's all types of people out there. This is another 24, the soup, that will tell you this will last past the expiration date. And, okay, that's probably true. But for the purpose of this video, and my recommendations to you, is follow the expiration date. Okay? Also, what you do not see here is any type of beans or rice. Because beans or rice and rice are actually difficult to store. It's not a take these, put them in a box, and put them away. You have to do different steps to prepare rice and beans to be put away. I've gotten things here I can simply take as is, like I said, put into a box somewhere, and then put it wherever you store your extra food items. Normally in a cool, dry place somewhere, but that will be where you want to put it at. And of course, we uh, have no frozen items here. Just things you can put back. Put them in a box, store it somewhere. So that was our dollar store haul. This was just to show you what we went out and picked up a few items today. And these are the ones we're going to put back. Anyone can do it. Relatively inexpensive. Buy what you and your family likes. I'll be doing some more videos on food We're going and non-food items. We're going to be talking about paper items. We're going to be talking about toothpaste and all type of different things and different ways to store it and what should, you should look for. So if you have any questions on that, please put it in the comments. Give me ideas for other videos. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it and shoestring 